for business owners and startups, this is the best time you should take a lot of risk because there is no better time than that. Mm -hmm. So risk more than to be protected because if you're being protected, you can let go of what is you've got with you and you're just going to remain with that. Like we, we said, the thing you're looking for is in the harder side of fear. Fear cripples people. Fear destroys dreams. Fear keeps people in bondage and not be able to live to the full potential of your dreams and goals and life. Fear. And the majority of the fear is, is an illusion. It doesn't exist. Fear of unknown. Fear of people's opinion. Fear of what will be by lose all my monies and lose my capital. So risk more and what about if you risk and it works out? Then you're like, ha, 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 I'm the king. Then I know you are not even, you won't even forgotten like you took the risk. So risk more, gamble more. I'm not saying do gamble, gamble. Like, I mean, gamble the more on a high risk and see if it plays out. If it doesn't play out, you've gotten the experience. Sure. So for businesses, expand risk more. People are scared to leave the city because they are doing well. They, they are scared of going to another country to help one another branch because you're building the business on your own and you're using it to figure yourself because you know if you move to another country it's going to cost you more to set up uh the risk whatever people don't embrace the no. business do it first and these same people in the next 10 years are going to complain that oh COVID has shut down our business this has happened some people become billionaires and millionaires during COVID while some people's fortune were destroyed it's all about what they are saying at the time of destruction. So to startups and small businesses, risk more and scale more. I'm sure our listeners are issuing to hear more, but for lack of time, 